Now, English comprehension is an aspect of English in which if you are able to master very well, it would even help you when you are in senior class, if you are able to really master it in your junior class. Now, remember in the previous video, I told you that the most important aspect of English comprehension is the understanding part of the passage. You need to understand the passage. If you do not understand the passage, there is no way you can answer the questions correctly. In fact, the word comprehension is synonymous to understanding. Do you understand? Now, the next thing I need you to understand is that um, to be able to answer comprehension passage very well, you must make sure you answer it according to the passage. according to the passage what that means is that for example if you are told in the passage that um, um, man united is the best club in the world and for some reasons you think that um, probably real madrid is the best club in the world now if you are asked as a question which club is the best club in the world and for any reason you see man united and real madrid in the option you have to pick man united because what you are expected to do is to answer the question according to the passage what that means is that if you are given an objective question for example before you pick any answer you need to make sure you can prove it from the passage does that make sense now enough talking let's take a sample passage are you ready so let's look at this passage together now the first thing you want to do when you are giving a passage is to read the instruction don't assume anything make sure you read the instruction now instruction read this passage carefully and answer the questions below now what we are going to do is to first and foremost go through the passage and then I try to analyze the passage so that we can understand it together before we take the question is that okay a drug is any substance that causes physical and or mental changes in the body i hope this is obvious enough physical changes are changes in which you can see mental change is the change that has to do with the mind do you understand now we are told that a drug is any substance that causes physical and mental changes in the body now we have this term drug abuse drug abuse is the non-medical use of drugs can you see so in the question if you are asked what is drug abuse according to this passage drug abuse is the non-medical use of drugs now this means you are using drug without permission from a medical practitioner someone in the medical field so drug abuse is the non-medical use of drugs Drugs that can be produced, sold, and used legally are called licit drugs. This is very important. So if you are asked what are licit drugs, licit drugs are drugs that can be produced and sold legally. That is according to the laws of the country. There are some drugs that they cannot be sold legally. An example of that is heroin, ego. Do you understand? why those not permitted by law are illicit drugs so any drug that cannot be sold legally is an illicit drug why drugs that can be sold legally is what licit drug do you understand there is a small but significant distinction between drugs as medicine and drug as mind or mood altering substances now, do you understand this? What this means is that there is a difference between using drugs as medicine. For example, your prastamol, your chloroquine, you use them. Prastamol, for example, you use it when you're feeling headache. Chloroquine, probably when you are having fever. So those are instances when you can use drugs as medicine. And then there's the other part where you use drug as a mind or mood altering substance. Now, what this means is that you are using drug in a way to either probably um, make you happy, um, sometimes serve as pain relievers. Do you understand? 
Now let's go to the next paragraph. Drugs used for the treatment or prevention of diseases are called medicines. That is very important. So if you are asked what are medicines, medicines are drugs that are used for the treatment or prevention of diseases. However, evil medicines can harm if used excessively or improperly. Now, normally, we are supposed to use medicine to treat diseases. But even at that, you can arm yourself by using medicine if you use it excessively. What does excessively mean? For example, some people can take five tablets of prastamon. That is using it excessively. Does that make sense? Or improperly. What this means is that when you are not supposed to use it, Sometimes some people are having fever and without going to the hospital, they just go take a drug because that drug worked for another person. So in this instance, you are using medicine, but you are using it excessively or improperly and that can harm you. Next sentence, my altering substances are also drugs. However, they are used to alter states of consciousness. For example, um, if you take heroin, for example, you can become unconscious. Especially if you take a large dose, you can become unconscious. Drug abuse is a serious public health problem that affects almost every community and family in some ways. Now, according to this passage, we are told that drug abuse affects what? Almost every community and family in some ways. Each year, drug abuse causes millions of serious illnesses or injuries among Americans. Now, the author of this passage has streamlined it to Americans alone. And we are told that each year, every year, drug abuse causes millions of illnesses, not just any illness, serious illnesses or injuries among Americans. Now, it went on to say, some abuse drugs so examples of drugs that are abused include cocaine you know cocaine <laughs> heroin marijuana now these three drugs are drugs in which people take to feel good about themselves to get high sometimes they smoke it sometimes they inject it into their veins and they are drugs that are being abused and so they are very bad effects on the body now another one we have here is called anabolic steroids now steroids can be prescribed they are drugs that you take to kind of enhance the hormone and sometimes people can also abuse it and we've got prescription drugs now prescription drugs are drugs that um they usually would have been prescribed over the counter by a medical practitioner but people tend to still abuse it an example of it, and a, a good example of this is sometimes even people can abuse um, the cough syrup, for example, um, in a way to just get themselves induced. And lastly, we have methamphetamine. And this also is a drug that can make you feel elated about yourself, feel good about yourself, and it can also be abused. Drug abuse can lead to homelessness. So now these are effects of drug abuse. Number one is homelessness. Number two is crime. Number three is problems with keeping a job. So if you are asked what are the three effects of drug abuse or what are the effects of drug abuse, we have homelessness, crime, and problems with keeping a job. We also have it can harm unborn babies. So, for example, if a mother that is pregnant is using some drugs, it can arm the unborn baby. And that's why sometimes you have children that are born and they are deformed for a number of reasons. And lastly, we are told that it can also destroy families. There are different types of treatment for drug abuse. Now, when someone has abused a drug and then there's the effect of that, how do we treat it? We've got... A number of ways we can treat it but the best is to prevent drug abuse in the first place now the author is saying that 
if someone has been trapped by drug abuse there are various ways that the person can receive treatment however the best is to even prevent drug abuse in the first place the best is not to have even um involve yourself in drug abuse in the first place do you understand now let's see if we can take some questions and let's see how um easy it can be so questions question one according to the passage drug abuse is we've got the non-medical use of drugs a serious mental problem what causes changes in the body and do we have the medical use of drugs now let's confirm from the passage now if you look here we have drug abuse is the non-medical use of drugs can you see now we've been able to prove the answer to that question from the passage so let's look at the options again the non-medical use of drugs a serious mental problem what causes changes in the body the medical use of drug now you can see that the answer is a the non-medical use of drugs do you see my point you need to be able to prove every answer you pick or every option you pick from the passage does that make sense let's go to question two medicine are drugs that alter moods b and baby c are used for treatment d are used excessively now you don't want to just pick any option you want to make sure you prove it from the passage so medicine are drugs that dash let's go back to the passage and see if we can prove it from the passage now here we have drugs used for the treatment or prevention of diseases are called what medicines so medicines are drugs that are used for treatment and prevention of diseases according to the passage let's see if we can get the right option so we have alter moods and babies are used for treatment are used excessively so what's the answer we have c are used for treatment because we're told that medicines are used for the treatment and prevention of diseases do you understand question number three drugs permitted by the law are dash drugs medical non-medical licit illicit now let's go prove it from the passage now from the passage we have drugs that can be produced sold and used legally are called what licit drugs does that make sense so let's see the correct answer drugs permitted by law remember i told you when i was explaining that legally is according to law so what do we call that kind of drug licit drugs do you understand question four question four we have drug abuse is a serious problem because it affects almost every community every american family only almost every community and family every family in nigeria so let's go to the passage and see if we can prove the correct answer now here we go drug abuse is a serious public health problem that affects almost every community and family does that make sense so let's go back drug abuse is a serious problem because it affects according to the passage almost every community and family do you understand now let's go to the last question we have from the passage it is best to dash a prevent drug abuse than treat it treat drug abuse than prevent it use illicit drugs without prescription take illicit drugs indiscriminately now let's go to the passage so now according to the passage we're told here but the best is to prevent drug abuse in the first place so prevention is better so let's go back to the question we have from the passage it is best to prevent drug abuse than treat it does that make sense so it's better to prevent it do you understand i hope you've been able to understand that to get your answers in a comprehension 
passage you need to number one understand the passage then number two make sure that you are answering the question according to the passage do you understand 